Hello and welcome to our base Victoria Sea Block. This is episode 351. And we're just looking at the mystery of why the heck we have so much alumina. And I know the answer. Um, so what I want to do is um, add a carbon request to this guy. And then see if we can sneak in another blast furnace. Yeah, it should be fine. We just cut this. We go over here and we reroute uh, the sulfuric acid a little bit. Yep, that's all good. We're gonna do you uh, drop here. And then we're gonna output. Uh, as a passive provider, we're gonna copy you. But we're going to make it a bit, little bit higher. So we're going to make sure that you're at a thousand. Uh, and we're going to copy this. This is going to be fine. Input wise. Barely. Let's add another one. You're going to pick up from here. Yeah. So actually. We're running into issues. Yeah, you're disabled by control behavior. That's good. Yeah, so we're gonna recycle some of the alumina that we've built up. Let's see. Do we have any other issues? This is a lot, but that's not really problematic per se. No, I don't think there's any runaway calcium chloride salt salts. Is but calcium chloride could be useful. Can we do something with that? Chloride. Yeah, this guy. We can use co make cobalt oxide. And we can do titanium pellets. Are we even doing this? Let's see. Titanium. Titanium should be over here. And then... We're doing ingots. Yeah, this is just titanium one. Okay, let's. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's it's free basically, right? So I don't know where we make them, but we have so many of them, and we can't really use them for anything else. So, yeah, why not? Uh, let's see. So, what we want to be doing is figuring out if we can reroute the titanium. Where is it currently being made? It should be somewhere around here. Yeah. There we go. Up here. Okay. So what's the the idea? We're gonna make it into pellets, process titanium, titanium ore. Let's see. We're already processing it. So we'd make it into pellets and then pellets with calcium chloride. And that and pellets go into ingots. Yeah. And we already have a carbon uh, input over here. So that's actually fine. So yeah, let's uh, maybe reshape you. What about if we could make you do... Uh, Oh yeah, we're gonna need, we're still gonna need some titanium tetrachloride. Um, yep, so we have this, we have... Oh no, wait. Okay, we are making... We're using processed tita titanium here. Yeah, but not pellets, right? So pellets would be the next... If we use pellets, um, yeah, and how do we make pellets? Yeah, just from this. So pellets seems just a little too easy, I guess. But yeah, if we do the pellets in here, we add in the cal calcium chloride. This is made in a blast furnace. Yeah, let's go. And then we don't need to the this stuff. Yeah, that seems uh, perfectly reasonable. Um, let's just restore your recipe for a second. And then we use our final... Uh, yeah, we're gonna 
cut some of the inputs. And then you, we're gonna make a pallet press over here. Gonna be a little out of whack, but that's okay. You're gonna make titanium pellets. And then once this empties out, yeah, that's okay. And you're also gonna empty out. Yep. Then we have... Yeah, I guess over here we can do... We could do just a blast furnace up here and then routes. Yeah, let's do that. Why not? Blast furnace. Um, yeah, it's a little bit out there though. Um, yeah, I mean, why not? YOLO. Do blast furnace three. I want to make uh, this. We're going to do... Um, this we're gonna do this and we're gonna request the tetrachloride or whatever it's called uh not these not these yeah and then we're just gonna output out here uh with this you're gonna be over here and you're also gonna be whoa oh okay we have some extra output over here limestone think we can just put that into the network then uh, let's make you filters filter inserters yeah, we're gonna need another one but that's fine so the filter you're gonna be having is nope none of these we're gonna have this filter i guess then uh no that also doesn't work we're gonna do the yeah, ingots. Yep. Uh, same for this guy. Uh, you're gonna get an offset. We're gonna eat some of these. Um, we wanna put the last of these in here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does make sense. Uh, we're gonna put some stuff inside the network because we no longer need it. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. We don't care. Uh, we only need one of those. The Nolik board is okay. We're not requesting that, probably. Some robots. Um, we're gonna delete you. We're gonna uh, put you in inside the blueprint book. Um... We're gonna, uh, we're gonna delete you because we have a better one. Okay, and we're all good. Then, meanwhile, this needed some cleanup. So let's get that going. We have you guys. What's going on with this guy? You're limited, of course, by the limestone, which is going to go in an active provider. It's limestone, right? Yeah. Uh, or, yeah, I said, yep, yeah, but it's actually, yeah, it is limestone. Okay, awesome. Um, yep, and these guys uh, we're going to bring up here. Ooh, I may have got the power uh, the damage is is limited in some sense okay these guys are fine we're gonna pick this up and basically kind of soon this guy is gonna fill up or empty out and then we can uh, go ahead and switch to this guy uh, so I have one question what is the issue oh you, yeah we don't need you to be connected to the network we just want you to also output. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get you guys in there and get you out of here and just get rid of those as well. Yeah, so this should be helpful. Um, so at least yeah, we have a use for these guys now. So uh, yeah, we're 
we're trying to make things a little bit more efficient. Uh, let's see. Alumina, we're, we're running through quite quickly. Chrome Oxide is going to take a while, probably. But, uh, yeah, these guys are now backlogged. We could, what we could do is uh, do something over here, but my guess is that this is going to be fine. Like at least we're going to get like half of, of the chrome oxide each time from, from this output chest, which should be fine. Yeah, we'll be okay. Um, let's see. We want to look at M. Rocket silo. Yeah. Doing okay, but not not amazing. Yeah, still st stuck on speed modules. What are you guys doing? Yeah, that's useful, but not great. S issue is still wooden boards, and for wooden boards, the issue is still yeah, it's very much sulfur dioxide gas. Yeah. I mean, are we losing something somewhere? I, I wouldn't be able to think of what we are losing, right? Like, it's not... Like, are we sulfur negative again? Like, how, how do we get more sulfur? Uh, it's not like we have a bunch of sodium sulfate in the, in the network, right? Sodium... No, no. We have a lot of sodium carbonate, but I don't think we can use that. Mm, let's see. Yeah, yeah. Chromate. Uh, okay, that might be interesting. Yeah, this could be relevant. And this is, I think we're doing this in, in some place. I mean... What can we do? What's going on here, by the way? Molten silver? Oh, yeah, okay. What's going up there? That makes sense. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. What's going on? Polished diamonds is kind of a, a resource hog. But there's nothing that really, like, Seems really problematic. Like the sodium carbonate is the the most worrying thing, but still, like, what what are you gonna do about that? Like, let's let's just say sodium carbonate. We can, yeah. We really don't have a good use for that. Chromate, yeah. I mean, this could be in, this could be interesting. Like, I guess we didn't have this, right? I mean. But uh, do we really want to be using it just to be using it? I mean, that seems dirty. We're using it for, for aluminum smelting, probably, right? Or are we not? Yeah, we are. Okay, that's good. But that's just not uh, the output that we, we really need. Uh, yeah, so I guess... Like we could we could switch to it for Chrome. Let's just check out where we're. Like this is Chrome oxide and this is dichromate. Let's check out what uh, uh, Chrome ingots. So we could do Chrome R. We could process. We could get. We could do this. This is what we're doing. And chrome oxide we can get from dichromate. No, which we can get from chromate. And for that... Yeah, so we actually are using the, the sodium carbonate here. And where is it a product from, sodium carbonate? From the paper making stuff, right? That's, that's where we're getting a bunch. Yeah. Suppose we... So... 
Could we use it? Can we do something with this? Sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride. No. Okay, well, I, I mean, yeah, we. I guess we just resigned to the fact that we have a bunch, but I can't do anything with it. All the other stuff seems reasonably okay. Yeah, the solar panels are ready, which is nice, but yeah. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, we, yeah. Okay, so the way we're getting sulfur dioxide. So sulfur is the other sodium sulfate. Can we like manufacture that? Yeah, out of sulfuric acid, but ooh, okay, this looks interesting. Sodium hydroxide is cheap. Brown liquor is maybe doable. And it actually makes a bunch of cellulose pulp. Okay, okay. Pulping liquid? Take sulfur dioxide gas. I don't know, man. Do, do we... Would we really want to do this just so that we could... So these are 1 to 1. Yeah, this is 50 to 1. And one of these, yeah, these are one to one with sulfur, and sulfur is one to 60. So if we look at this, so this is one to 50, which is uh, 75 to 75, which is 100 to 100. So this, this loop is sulfur positive. Uh, Yeah, I think we want to do, yeah. We want to do the air scrubbing stuff. Washing plants make two, making sure for... Yeah. Yeah, I guess we do want to just get a little bit more of uh, of this stuff going. But then in a in a little bit more of a sustainable way, I guess. I mean, so for these guys, these guys just this is what eats the lime, right? So if we do a proper setup, we can just set up like do a, a setup like this chain it into these assemblers and then just like like make one block that does this i think that would be worth a lot actually let's go ahead and, and figure out how we can make that happen so we want to get because yeah this is gonna get us uh wait what Okay, the amount of sulfuric wastewater here seems okay. So what's what's the hole up over here then? Um, uh, maybe we do have enough. Nah, we don't have enough. We definitely don't have enough, right? These guys, yeah, we have a little bit of a purified water issue over here, but other than that, nothing weird is going on. Right? So these guys, yeah. It's not like we have enough sulfuric acid. We we really, really don't. So 
yeah let's let's get like more like one block of this and let's figure out how to set it up so we want to get um air something air scrubbing no, we want to get sulfuric waste water and we want to get it with this recipe um so we want i don't know like a hundred then we're gonna need air filters too we're gonna need these guys these guys is gonna need lime lime is gonna uh, is gonna come from this stuff gonna come from this stuff which is gonna come from this stuff okay but this is far enough um if we look at what we use in this setup we use blast furnaces three and can those work the entire time not really but that's okay so uh for you we use fairly high-end machines uh for you we use blast furnaces three and for you, it, yeah, this is the real issue, right? Washing plants too. So, if we look at one of these, we take six washing plants too. Um, so, that means that we want to get a little bit less, like 10. Mm, nope, not, not that much less, like 30. Yep, this seems okay. So, we can power eight air filters too with two of these guys uh and then with with all of this yeah that seems like it should be doable uh, we're gonna get some used lime filter and we need to recharge that still right yeah okay so there's another step which gets used lime filter and outputs acid gas but that's also fine like we can we could do that somewhere over here and then chain the fluids back i think this is a little bit imposing uh, maybe we should build it over here then like just just get some like, like get all the fluids that we need and do it like that i think that should be okay um I think we're all good then yeah let's uh let's see do we have maybe uh something in here that already has this mm -mm -mm. No, it doesn't really look like it so let's uh copy one of these setups and then uh, make sure we can uh, we can edit it a little bit um so we should have enough let's do it like this uh purified water doesn't need to be included there we go hey right. so we're gonna exclude all of this we're gonna exclude you 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 this is not necessary this makes sense the rest is all fine uh, we're gonna kill you and you we're gonna kill this guy uh, i guess this could be useful but we're really we're really not doing anything with the carbon dioxide i should have saved shouldn't i yeah okay my bad uh, this is okay and we want to kill these guys safe okay um these guys don't really need anything right they're just creating stuff and same like same for these guys once they have the the filters they're all good so yeah i think i just want to go yeah go do it up here yeah we we want to recycle the acid gas that is the the biggest issue um i mean 
if we look at the size of this, we could easily fit it up here, right? We can just take a little bit of extra space and just route it like this and then it will be fine. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, let's see if we can uh, make this happen. We have hmm, not really enough and okay, we want this and I should have left a little bit of uh, of water where we need it, but uh, it's okay. Um, yeah, let's set it up like this and then we're gonna need a seafloor pump uh, up here. And then an offshore pump as well. And uh, we'll connect it up. So offshore is gonna be for water. There we go. And seafloor is gonna be for mud. Like this. Okay, that's all good then what we want to make sure is if we look at the planner so we're gonna need two assembling machines and so actually we're gonna need to supply the filter frames as well and that's gonna be done with this and then it's gonna be neutral yeah we're just gonna get acid gas and sulfuric wastewater and the rest will get rid of. So that's that's actually really good. Um, how much? I don't have any filter frames. Let's set up a request for that. Filter frames. I guess I'm making those somewhere, right? Yeah, looks like we are. Okay, maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we are, but it's, it might just be a while. That's okay. Um. Wait, and what's the... Ah, oh, that's, that's fuel. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep, that's all good. We're gonna need a roboport somewhere. Over here seems fine. Nope, not. Um, there we go. And we have... Uh, this guy and uh, this guy so you're gonna be air scrubbing right and let's see yep this so we need one of you one of you the same over here okay and if we look at our planner uh, and we do this with chemical plants then we also need two of those and they're gonna get, yeah, so they're gonna get acid gas. So we need to make the inline tank probably. Inline tank. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Um, there we go. Then we have a chemical plant to and you're going to be making frames in some way. Frame. Nope. Uh, acids. Yep. So this stuff. We're going to get acids and gas out of there. Uh, like this. Um, yep. So we can get that up here and we're just going to chain that somewhere else. Uh, and then, yep, we have some more landfill. So let's use that. And then how many air filters should we be able to power with this eight? And then, yeah, we're going to make, yeah, they're going to get these, these filters. 
And we're gonna put uh, those in. Yep, we have a bunch on the way, that's good. So, air filter 2. I guess I can request a couple. Um, 10 seems fine. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple and then we can just paste those. Um, yeah, we can feed 8 with this. And that should be fine. So, the way we want to set this up is we have air filters. Oh, we're gonna need compressed air as well. No, we're gonna need water. But we, luckily we have water. Or we should at least. Uh, that's not connected up. So let's make that happen. And then we have water coming in here. And sulfuric water, wastewater coming out. So uh, that's going to be on this end. We're going to need... Eh. Okay, so I think yeah, we're going to get these in, those out. See, only physical products. So what I think we want to do is create a little bit more space, I guess. Um, yeah, I want I want a little bit more space. So here we're gonna get uh, our output. So we're gonna have actually let's do it up here, and let's do it like this. So uh, offset. Uh, we want to power it. And here we're gonna get our input. We're gonna have that split and move uh, like this as well, right? Th these guys get the, oh no, it's the other way around. These guys bring the stuff in and the other guys bring the stuff out. Um, so we have these guys and we have these guys. Um, this we're gonna connect up and get like a nice, nice one going. Had an, what's the number involved here? Yeah, 1.5. That's not uh, not anywhere near what we could get. Yeah, and these are taking the. Messing it up again. Okay, let's uh, let's try again. We have output from uh, these guys like this, and uh, these guys like this, and these are used in the filter frames. So we're gonna run those down. Uh, and can we fit eight of those up here? I highly doubt it. Uh, maybe we can. Let's see. Um, I still don't have... Oh, no, I have them. Okay. Uh, let's go from, like, I guess, from down here. One, two, three, four. Let's do... Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. That's fine, but we just need to go up a little bit more like this and then turn around like that. Then we have the pipe over here and we can have the output belt over here. And then we can roll that like uh, this. Uh, and we got a... Do that the other way around so you're gonna uh, be dropping here and then we'll do it like this and go underground over here okay so you're gonna get this recipe we're gonna bring that to all of you we're gonna do a little water uh, have the pipe yeah, that's all good. So we're gonna input some filter frames for you and some for you. We're gonna uh, set this up like 
that. Yep, then we're gonna bring them in here with an offset for one of you. Same up here. Uh, oops, that's not what we want. We want you to drop one further, but also with an offset. Okay, we wanna get the these guys in their hands and we want to connect this up then we're gonna get sulfuric wastewater from here and we're gonna get uh, one of each for these guys let's put it at the water entrance uh, for inputs so those are gonna be uh, wait, uh, this is going to be input, okay. So we can uh, just run that over here and run that down here. Okay, that's going to make it a little bit asymmetrical, but that's okay. Uh, because we want to move you to up here. Then we configure you to pick up drop. Oh no, wait. You actually do need to also drop there. Okay. And actually, yeah, so I missed a little thing up here, but that's fine. So we're going to pick up drop. Uh, we're going to run that like this uh, with a splitter. Then we're going to do this and... Yeah, we're gonna do the same setup. So let's run a couple. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need one more, I guess. Um, over here. There we go. Okay, some power. There we go. Uh, almost up here. And we're gonna get some sulfuric waste water. Acid gas is not really a problem quite yet, but it should be soon. And we're gonna output there. And that's gonna need some power as well. Okay, I think we should be good then. Um, yeah, and we're gonna get some extra limestone here. That's fine, I guess, yeah. I guess we need it for something. Um, oh, but this should be a closed loop system. It's kind of tempting to do this, but I, I really shouldn't be. Uh, anyways, oxygen we can get, so that's nice. Let's get that in here. Uh, and then we have acid gas and we have sulfuric wastewater. Up here. Yep. And then we're gonna go, yeah, I guess a little bit down. Then we're gonna sneak under you. It seems fine. And up here. It's also fine. Get you guys in here. And then we can just uh, continue on, right? Yeah. Uh, YOLO. Not, not really nice, but uh, yeah. let's move a little bit more south still. With this. There we go. Acid gas. And the sulfuric wastewater. Okay, so. Uh, acid gas can 
connect up here like that there we go and then sulfuric waste water um, yeah, is coming down here so we can also set uh, yeah sure let's uh, meet here that seems fine okay so uh, almost there we go yeah that should be good so that means we should have enough uh, sulfuric wastewater to get this going we have a little bit of an issue with the purified water pressure up here it gets really yeah we just have too much um so i guess we wanna i mean if we if we make more sulfuric acid in other places then we could get all our sulfur dioxide from this guy that would be kind of ideal but for now it doesn't really look that way let's see you are still looking pretty good yeah we're just we have some pressure on the sulfuric waste water and it's it's actually gonna gonna be fine but uh, yeah we just and actually so this guy no wait we have some process up here that also eats no, that eats oxygen. Okay. I just thought for a second we're, we're eating some sulfuric uh, dioxide gas here as well. But that looks like we're fine. Yeah, so... I mean, this installation looks pretty damn good, except that it doesn't work. Are we missing something here? Output full. Oh, yeah, we're, we are missing something here. We need uh, these guys to uh, go in there. There we go. Yeah. Okay, then then they should be fine. Um, let's hope we put in enough uh, enough filters, but I I'm also pretty okay with that. Yeah, if we look at these guys, like a lot of them are running, some of them are not. But the issue really should be like the issue is is lime. Like, it's not that we don't have enough enough lime. Or it's not that, that this setup doesn't work. But this way, it's just a little bit ni more nicely compartmentalized. So, and this we could just continue on making a little bit. Um, but we might want it to sulfuric wastewater in, in better places. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, I'm going to cut this episode here. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you some other time. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps people like you find it too. Thanks.